My name is Colin Lucas Spoon. I'm in the medical and healthcare program, and I'll be a junior in the fall. Uh, suturing was a little bit difficult for me. I struggled tying the knots at the end, so everything would like kind of unravel. But after like you cut apart, and then you you do everything like to fix the problem. You keep suturing, and then you suture it, and then you fix it, and it's like everything's healed. Like it's like nothing ever happened. My favorite pattern would have to be the second one we learned where you would go underneath the skin and you'd go across so it would look like it was like bag lines going across the skin. Uh, just because it wasn't as many, like you didn't have to tie as many knots, which is what I struggled with. And you just tie one knot at the beginning and one knot at the end. I liked it because it was kind of like what I want to get into in the medical field. I'm Derek Chen, I'm a rising junior, and I am in the medicine and healthcare. It was really interesting. The heart has a lot of, I guess, compartments, valves, areas where it's all connected. But for us, it was kind of hard to find it. It kind of broke my heart. But it was really cool. It was really pretty too, because we could see all the lining and we could reach our finger in and try to poke it out the other way. As for the eye dissection, uh, basically, I think it was really cool how the eye came in with a lot of fat and muscle. So we had to actually trim this away before we could begin the dissection. And I think this just, I guess, mirrors what the human eye is like for those who are interested in ophthalmology because it's going to be surrounded by a lot of muscle and fat. And as a result, the eye seems a lot smaller, but when you cut it all away, you see what the eye truly is.